Hi, uh, my name is Leon Moore. I'm with the College Station Fire Department. I'm a captain there. And this is one of our newest fire trucks we're getting from Pierce. Come on, let me show you around. We have the Velocity Cab. Uh, we've been running with these for about the last 20 years. Uh, they've been really good to us. Uh, there's a, a lot of features that uh, we like about them. And some of the things we've changed up the last few times is having the access door here on the side. And that way we can get to some of our equipment that is uh, mounted on the inside there. Uh, we have 110 plugs running through there so we can keep things charged as more and more things are going electrical and, and battery operated. We've redesigned some of the compartment spaces back here as well uh, with some of the uh, recent school shootings and a lot of the alert training and things like that that integrate the firemen and, and medics into those responses we have a, a compartment that allows us to carry our ballistic vest and so that they're at the ready in, in case we go on those calls. Um, one of the other things we switched to is we used to have a crossover pump panel and we've gone to the puck pump uh, which we we do like it gives us a lot more compartment spacing and then it, um, it allows us to be able to have some some really good hose organization here and uh, carry some of our things a little bit easier to maneuver. In our, comp our driver compartment, um, we kind of reconfigure some of the stuff. We have a light tower that goes up top, and we have this uh, wheel-built controller, and we worked with Pierce to help design kind of a little nook in there to kind of get it out of the way, because this is where we keep a lot of our, our driver compartment gear and stuff like that. Really like the way that they redesigned the, um, the tanks so that you have your fuel tank separate from your def tank. And that way, uh, it kind of keeps the, the two separate and, and less confusion that way. We, um, we, have, we, we tend to carry a lot of um, high-rise hose and things in this high side compartment. Uh, and so we actually had them work with us to flip this cabinet in the shelf upside down. So you'll notice that there's not a lip on the top. The, the lip is actually underneath on the bottom. And that's just so because we were having people having trouble sliding things and picking, th picking it up. And, um, and so that makes it a little bit easier to get out of the compartment for us. Uh, one of the other things we added uh, recently was they worked with us. We carry electric fans, and their dimensions and sizes are a little different. So they worked with us to be able to help de design this compartment very special to give us a, a few extra inches of depth there so we can make sure we have enough room to carry the, the new style fans that are coming. We also added the, the winch. It's another upgrade of something that we haven't had in the past that we're super excited about having now. And so we added the, the receiver hitches and the, the winch connections for use. As you can see, it's also very high-sided. Uh, we have dunnage compartments up top, and it's just um, a way to add more capacity. This truck in particular uh, is going to carry some wildland gear and things like that. And so it's got a little bit more water capacity. It's got a 1,000-gallon tank on it. And then, like I said, it's got the dunnage compartments to carry some of the flappers and rakes and axes and stuff that they need. Because of that, we relocated our... Hose reel, it used to be on the high side, on the, the driver's side, and it, now it comes out the rear, and then we have the rollers and stuff to be able to, to peel around on either side. Over here, this is where we carry all of our rescue tools. So all of our spreaders, rams, cutters, uh, and then we really like the design of these fold-down, tilt-out drawers. It's worked on another one of our uh, truck designs we had with Pierce before and just made it real easy once you get some Plastics Plus and things that lock them in. Makes it super convenient for getting in and out and we can adjust the heights of all that regardless of what tools we're carrying and the, the new generations and everything we've gone to here lately has been the hydraulics and so we don't have to worry about carrying a power unit and stuff like that anymore and that, that's been really beneficial. On this side, again, you'll see that we, took the, we had them work with us on this uh, shelf to flip it to where it's basically upside down. There's not a lip, so it made it a little bit easier to get some of that stuff. Those are items we don't normally get out. They're also um, heavy enough that they don't slide around too much, so we don't have to worry about them bumping up against the door. That's one of the big concerns with these roll-up doors is things sliding into them and you can't open your door up anymore. And then one of the other things that they worked with us on this design was these tool boards. Uh, the previous truck that we got we felt like the tool board was a little flimsy, so they worked on the slides and, and just beefed a lot of things up a lot thicker, a lot stronger. Just felt a little more secure with it, and so we'll put a lot of our hand tools and things like that on there and, and be confident that they won't, won't damage the truck any. This side of the truck is really pretty much the same as the other. Um, 
just a mirror image of it. We have our compartments. We did work with Pierce on these steps. This is another design thing that we worked real hard on. With the heights of the truck changing over the years, they kind of require you almost to get a little bit more of a step to get there. The first iteration of them, this bottom step didn't have much of a lip that stuck out, so we worked with them to get a little bit more, so it made it a little bit easier as you're stepping up to not catch your toe. A lot of guys were catching their toe here on this step as they were trying to step in, their, especially their bunker boots. That's our fire truck, and I uh, really want to thank the city manager, city council, and mayor of the city of College Station for always supporting us and all of our equipment purchases and making sure we have the best that, that is out there. And Pierce, they're the top of the line, the best in the business, and so we really appreciate all that they do for us.